this is part four, baby, episode three. All right, my name is Blow the Gamer. We've been in kick it off in this, in this thing. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But welcome back to the show. Let's continue what we last left off with, man. If you seen the last video, thanks, man. Thanks for watching. You know what it is. But this is going to be a special gameplay, man. A special gameplay. I'm talking about Australian accent, man. You know what I'm saying, mate. You know you feel me, Mike. But it's like it's like this, man. I, I originally got it from a little YouTuber I watch, watch, man. So you know, I got the idea from him, and I kind of not really taught me, but you know, it, this is my best attempt, Mike, to give y'all the best gameplay ever, Mike. Let's get it, Mike. Episode three, Mike. Part four, baby, Mike. Let's get it. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. It's possible they're in on it. Uh, you may be right, but there's no way to tell until you get in there. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. Need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. Looks like we can access the door. Let's take a look inside. That access door is connected to the spa. Okay, mate. Check the fucking door out. Let's check out the next thing. Uh, looks like we got a couple things we can do, Mike. We can stick the right temperature. Ooh. Oh, snap. Let's, let's check this out. This is There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. That appears to just be a patron. They're heading downstairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. 
I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard that GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. Lies insult us both. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. But it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. Rice and shine. you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. He had I it. sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? 
that sort of thing? There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there are more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? I also enjoy long walks on the beach. Hmm. <laughs> You're funny. Must have gotten that from your mother's side. You know my dad could be a funny guy too. to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. What's left of them. But it's nice to know I have a fan. Been running short of those lately. In fact, you being like my dad... That's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But, you actually care for some people. Like that girl. What's her face, uh... Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early twenties. Fresh-faced and optimistic. How am I doing? No? No, I think it was Brittany. Sorry, I barely know her. <laughs> You're cute when you're friends. You know that? I don't know if she's your friend or mortal enemy, but I know you care about her at least a little. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place, except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you seem to have made up your mind already. I guess one of us has to be the mole. But you've already cleared me. Trying to make me second-guess myself ain't gonna work, sweetie. Nice try, though. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat! <laughs> hey, sorry, I have to make it sound good. I really did. 
I said it loud and clear. I internally. You know Harley. She's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin'. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. Please. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. been fun. Bane, get him inside. <clears throat> you can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I can help. You need me! Yeah. Once you're an ice cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.
man. So we reached the ending of episode three, man. Thanks for watching. You know, you know, again, my name is Flo the Game. Hit that like button now. Like, hit that like button. If you like this video, like, hit that like button and that subscribe button. And I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Hey.